Bag Out the Wheel is a memoir set in the 1970s in Luton, where I was brought up. In a Caribbean house, all my parents are Jamaican. We were on an Irish estate in Luton. And actually, when I think about it, there aren't that many books written from the point of view of a Caribbean family in this country over the last 50 years. So I was answering that call, really, to portray this life, this really rich, lyrical, speaking life of Caribbean people in Britain. The book's called Bag at the Wheel because Bag Eye is the actual name of my father. He had bags under his eyes and all the friends of his, Caribbean friends, equally had these funny nicknames. So Tidy Boots is very fussy about his footwear. Shine is bald. Pumpkin Head has a pumpkin-shaped head. And my all-time favourite was a guy they called Summerwear. And Summerwear came to this country insisting on wearing light summer suits. So what they did and how they looked seemed to define them. This is a time when there's the growing sense of people doing up their houses and my father was not immune to that uh, desire. So there's one chapter called uh, The Art of Putting Up Ceiling Tiles where he spent many a, a hapless Sunday afternoon putting up polystyrene ceiling tiles on the ceiling which nevertheless fall down pretty soon after. So I'm trying to conjure that time, that kind of um, amusing time I think of uh, growing up from the point of view of a 10-year-old boy. But when these men aren't trying to put up ceiling tiles, they're heading straight on a Friday afternoon to Mrs. Knight's all-weekend poker game. They have this love for gambling, but they're going to fry their chicken, prepare their rum and coke, and spend the whole weekend gambling. And it's my job and my sibling's job to get to the house of gambling on a Saturday afternoon to try to convince our father to give us some house money. Because if we don't get it by then, Come Sunday morning, he will emerge blinking into the sunlight, penniless. So that's one important strand of the book. And another important strand is this desire that my mother has to send us to a private school. And my father kind of goes along with it. But will he go along with it fully? Because he's going to have to put his hand in his pocket. It's going to cost a lot of money. And in a way, will he forego the pleasures of gambling at Mrs. Knight's and gamble, I suppose, on my education? That's the theme of Bad Guy at the Wheel.